promised to bring a tutorial for Counter-Strike Neo so this is like the complete uh, walkthrough how you can get the game running on Techno Parrot and uh, what you need is a, a dumped ROM file well ROM file or game file whatever for the Counter-Strike Neo which is called contents2.bin where you can get this I can tell you but uh, you can dump it from uh, original hard drive or maybe find it somewhere in the internets. So, to start off you need to extract this file with 7-zip. 7-zip uh, can read the contents of the file even though it's not a like real 7-zip file. And the game file is compressed are around I guess uh, 1.5 gigabytes. So anyways, let's start. We'll extract this and uh, it starts extracting this warning is completely normal so you can ignore that all right now that that's complete uh, we can check the files and the actual game files are here in cs neo 2 folder and then to the linux folder all right so here we have uh, all the game files now so what we will do next is we need to get uh, additional libraries that are missing from the dump and copy them here so we'll do that next all right and the next thing we need to do is come to our discord server which the link i will provide in the description and uh, you will be created by the welcome channel you cannot see any of the other channels so you should read uh, all of these rules and it will give you a passcode that you will enter in here in the channel to get access to all of the channels this is just because many people don't understand rules like you cannot uh, be toxic or post illegal stuff so we make sure they read this and next uh, when you have all the channel access you go to the uh, fixes channel which has a lot of stuff here you can also find the resolution patcher by nether for the cs neo which lets you patch the game to full hd or or whatever the resolution you want to use since the uh, normal game runs at 1024 times 768 so it's not the best looking looking game so but what we now need is cs neo lips updated dot rar so we will download that we will be created by firefox here i will save it oh the firefox is actually not on the window what the hell let me try to move it <sighs> it's the windows very small all right so here so now we have downloaded it so we open the rar i have winrar installed so it automatically opens it and uh, these files need to be extracted to the folder so where is this folder here all right so we'll extract the files here we'll copy this go here and extract to and copy the folder here and just click ok uh, and it will drop all the files in the game folder great and the other thing it will do it will create this setting file where we will tell the game that we want free play so we don't you know need to insert coins and the next thing we need to do is download techno parrot and update it so we'll go to that part next. now we have arrived to technoparrot.com which is our website and as you can see there's a lot of interesting things here the news section is not really updated but for example from the compatibility list you can check all the games that our emulator supports. There's a lot of games. House to Death 4, Initial D games, One Gun Midnight. All of all, all of these Japanese arcade games are supported. Like over 100 games, so it's pretty neat. And you can see the more detailed compatibility list from here. We are just uh, now parsing proper lists, so uh, this is not completely complete yet. But anyways, to download Technoparrot, you go to Downloads, and you can see here 
uh, if you want to support us you can pledge to our patreon which is at patreon.com slash technogods and uh, yeah so here you can see total downloads so we have almost 300,000 downloads and the current version is like almost 5,000 so you download it from here by clicking simply here and it will redirect you to mega and then you'll download it from mega it's 91 megs and then we'll uh, open it with WinRAR and we can extract it to the folder where we extracted the Counter-Strike. So we'll just extract it here and slash Techno Parrot. Alright. Alright, so now we go to the Techno Parrot folder and we run Techno Parrot UI. And, and Oh, so I have uh, one Techno Parrot already running in the background. So if you have this, then it will ask if you want to close it. So obviously in this case, uh, we'll close it. This will not obviously happen to you since you are running this first time. So now it will say that, oh, seems like your first time, uh, first time you are running me. So set the emulation settings. And then it will also complain that uh, you haven't set any games. So what I will do, I will uh, set Counter-Strike first from this list. So here are all the games that the emulator supports. It's quite a formidable list. And there's like thousands of hours of fun here. So, But we'll take the Counter-Strike Neo, which is no longer Patreon only. But since this is the older version, it will tell you that. So we'll just click Add Game. All right. And then it also offers you updates and you should always take the updates so we'll just update the the emulation course now all right and it's super fast and it's super efficient so now it will automatically restart the ui since it's updated and updates come out many times a week typically and still now we have two more new updates the N2 core is actually the one that runs the Counter-Strike and this 1001 has new improvement so obviously we'll update that and then we'll update the Techno Parrot core which is for most of the Japanese games and that's it now it no longer says Patreon only as we uh, said the uh, I mean as we updated this thing so next what we need to do is there's no controller set up on counter-strike neo as it uses the keyboard and mouse from your pc so what you want to do is go to game settings and then you need to find the game location where you extracted the game file so i'm just gonna browse directly to the folder and i'm gonna copy this and click here and then i'm gonna enter the folder here and then what you need to select here is HLDS AMD this is the main executable for uh, Counter-Strike Neo so you open this and then you simply save and if you don't want to run the game in the window you just uh, un untick this alright and one more thing uh, if you have an AMD graphics card uh, then you need to, uh, here you can actually see the, the situation with the GPUs, so NVIDIA works fine, AMD requires a fix, and Intel sh does not work, it's it's tested but it did not boot, so. so if you want to play this on AMD, you need to go to the Techno Parrot folder, and to the N2 folder here, and there's AMD fix by Nezer. So what you do is you simply copy this DLL, copy, and uh, paste it here, and overwrite the. Yeah, so I use this Terra copy, so it's it looks like this. But yeah, you overwrite the files. But uh, as I have uh, Nvidia graphics card, I don't need this. But just in case you're wondering, oh, why doesn't it run on my red Radeon? So with that, you can run it just fine. Also, one thing to note before running, uh, there's a lot of maps in this game 
that are actually not in the menus and uh, when I'm playing on LAN I never use the menus anyways I just check the... oh that's the wrong folder, sorry uh, I just check the maps folder here and I check the maps name, map names myself for example neo underscore zero one collision or uh, I really haven't tested all of these maps but uh, uh, when you're playing with your friends it's best to use to use the console to change the maps but we'll go to that next all right and now the final step which is to actually run the game so simply we select counter-strike from the game list and we'll click launch game and this will uh, launch the loader and this is gonna take a while because the game is obviously not for windows you're wondering like well if it's for linux how are you running it so basically uh, what the budget loader does it converts the elf and all the so libraries so that windows can understand them all right now it has booted up and uh, as you can see it's by Bandai Namco and officially of course it runs on the Nvidia hardware but since we have no limits it also now runs on AMD so this is the nice uh, little intro splash and what we will do now is uh, we'll, uh, well you will see so it wants you to use cards. In the real arcade machine there was a card reader which basically let you save your stats like wins and matches and whatever. But since we don't have a card reader and the online system is no longer working, uh, we will use the console. So depending on your uh, keyboard layout you'll press uh, Alt F7 or Alt GR F7 which will open a console and to fool the game to think that we have entered a card so we write login space and for example 12 boom we have entered the card then we'll close the console by pressing alt f7 and here it complains i don't know about what but we'll just press ok and then we'll uh, enter uh, our name so let's put river here and click ok and then it will ask are you sure or something and you just click yes but don't get uh, pissed off that it doesn't go in uh, immediately as it takes some time to load so now we'll just wait here and we don't press anything All right, great. And now we are at the main menu. You can browse these menus if you wish. There are a lot of weird stuff here. But like I said, how I like to host my games, it's just I open the console. And I simply write map. Neo underscore mm, zero 06 collision. And this was one of the maps that crashed in the original version. But this is now fixed. So we'll just click, uh, we'll just press enter and it will start loading the map. And it will also start a LAN game or online game. So now uh, I will be joining with my second PC. I'll uh, open the console, write login 1-2 and then I'll just press the OK here and put some name, second PC I guess. Click OK and then I'll wait. And I'm here at the menu and I'll just simply open the console and write connect and the IP address of my other PC, which is this. And just simply press enter and it will automatically join the game. And that's it, we're in the game. And I guess I'll t with my second PC I'll just take the CSF side, which is terrorists, but as this game is super Japanese, 
The terrorists are actually the good guys and the Neo is like this evil alien things that have come to Earth and with the with the terrorists you will try to sabotage their places and explode their stuff. So yeah, super original plot. And that's it.